uh, you know, <clears throat> you've been in the pack long enough, then you, you know you start to think you are one. Hey, just a real quick shout out, as it doesn't take, you know, five fucking days to upload onto Google Plus YouTube. I get extra special fuck over treatment. You know, and at that, I'd probably have to upload it three or four times. As they do everything from switching my computer off to reaching right in and swiping the data out or changing it or God knows what kind of shit they put in there from time to time. So anyhow, we'll make it quick. <sighs> Shout out to the RCMP in Penticton. Uh, coming in hot, hot, hot! Uh, looks like we're a go for Thursday depending on space weather. Um, unfortunately I have to scale down my presentation on EFM poisoning and uh, mitigation. Uh, you know, and I had hoped to <clears throat> make a little DVD to drop off as well of, of those uploads of, uh, you know, <clears throat> how you can do your own detective work and, uh, and uh, <clears throat> learn to learn to recognize when it might or might not be impinging on your physiological and psychological state and uh, overstressing you and because as I mentioned I'm strongly suspecting uh, the interlaced magnetic fields or specifically interlaced plasma is uh, having very unpredictable and unruly and detrimental to your long-term health effects in the uh, cruiser environment especially in a hot 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 radioactive wise area like the Okanagan Valley uh, but it'll take a, a little bit of uh, categorizing and quantifying things on your end. I mean, if you guys decide to go along with this, with or without high commands. Oh, fuck, did we ever fuck up, boys? We better cover our asses! Our pigeon's just around the corner! Consent. Uh, because... Because I can't see any reason why you couldn't. Um, you know, just take five seconds of your lunch break here or there and, you know, speak into the mic or whatever and record the data and then carry on your route. Uh, so, we'll try and do that. I'll definitely bring you the frontline remedy for somebody on a strict budget. It's called aluminum screen equals... Faraday, not, not Faraday cage, Faraday shielding. Yes, no need to go to fancy electronics or anything to tell if this is going to bring you any relief. It's basically, you know, you stick an appropriate shaped hunk of aluminum screen between you and at least one of the sources, whether it's that thing zapping your balls uh, on your waist or, or, you know, between you and the Wi-Fi transmitter in the in the uh, laptop that you guys have, or, uh, you know, I guess you can't really uh, <clears throat> alter the cruiser itself. Uh, and I don't know where, like, the, uh, your average Crown Vix at in the new model year, but the last one I checked had, like, uh, 12 Wi-Fi's in it, right? <clears throat> yes, controlling the car. That's that's right. Uh, all in digital signals, like your, your, your new television transmitters, and like your cell phones have been for a long time and well we won't turn this into a lecture like I said I gotta keep it short uh, okay so hopefully we'll we'll see you on Thursday if not I'll just pop her in the mailbox um, and don't mistake mine for for some imposter putting a fucking mail bomb in your box or something like they tried to do to to uh, Len Evans way back when my <coughs> my my buddy, my MLA buddy, and then frame me on it, you know, or, or that dynamite in the train lockers in, in, in Winnipeg to try and frame me on it at the uh, start of the expo, you know, I guess they're just going to use me up to <coughs> extend their private contracts with CSIS, with the newly formed CSIS, well beyond the expo, just in case, you know, ah, fuck, let's sacrifice him, he's just a fucking pothead, he'll never do anything about it. WRONG! You all been on their fucking surveillance. Every fucking one of you bastards that that fucking committed crimes against me. Uh, and we'll just finish up by saying, oh yes. <clears throat> As you guys are all so convinced to override the laws and make deterrent examples, 
I'm going to do you all one better. Constable Mike Kane, or whatever the fuck you weaseled your way up to, or out of this time, uh, formerly the RCMP, 2nd Moose Detachment, criminal harassment coming your way. Don't worry, it's a petty charge. I'm just using it to get subpoena power to pull all kinds of evidence out of your past. Yeah, yeah, I fucking remember. Every fucking bit of it was recorded. Oh, well, not on this piece of crap. No. I had much better technology back then. 24-7, 360 degrees. Including full electronic surveillance. Okay, asshole, so don't be putting a gun to your head. Watch out that someone else doesn't disappear you or commit your suicide for you. Because you're going to do one last service before you get fucked out of your pension. You're going to come clean. The easy way or the hard way, it's up to you. It's your pre-sentence hearing that your actions from this moment forth will, well, assuming there's a little bit of sanity in your seemingly sociopathic psychosis. Well, not said. We've gone too long here. We want to get this up before Thursday. Heads up, boys. And I do love and protect peacekeepers. That's no fucking bullshit. Um, you know, after 80,000 years, it's kind of <clears throat> in the blood or the brain or whatever. Okay, meet me all later. Peace out. And above all, <clears throat> lead by example. That includes not breaking the laws. Okay? The criminals, they already have that. The Harpers, the petty thug stealing hubcaps leaving dog poop on the beach, whatever, they already know that. What they need is an effective example to believe in again. And you guys are hired.